Hello folks and welcome. So MX23, MX Linux 23, KD Plasma 527.5. This video is for new users or maybe experienced users or medium users, but new users nonetheless. And these are quick tips on your panel and also menu. And uh, I'll touch a little bit about uh, widgets too. So I will say welcome folks. I have some uh, tips for you. I also have over 230 videos on my YouTube site for tips and tricks, so you can subscribe and check those out. Filming in 1920 by 1080, then you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary with that gear symbol, since a lot of them default to, well, 460. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about adding some icons down here, and they're kind of tiny, so let me blow this up a little bit. I know this may look blurry to you, but uh, the icons next to my time date thing is where I'm referring to. And I'll make this a little bit lar uh, larger and go back to normal. Uh, anyways, if you're curious about that zoom feature, it's just holding down my start key. Some people call it the super key and the plus and minus. But that's not what the video is about. It's about your panel. I'm going to talk about the height, the icons, adding a weather icon in here and maybe possibly your updater slash discover software center and maybe your printers where you can just see them all the time. Then I'll talk a little bit about options on this menu here. All right, so in either case, folks, welcome. So we'll start with the panel, right click, enter mode. These are simple stuff to do. So if you increase the height, a lot of times these will get disproportional and they'll double stack on you and that may be a preferred item. In other words, you get more real estate on your panel. Uh, if you're wanting to do the auto height thing, then click more. The auto height is sitting here. We could also add widgets this way. We can also add widgets by right clicking. So let me first give you an example of a widget for weather. Then I'll show you one miniature of one of those over here. That's what I call it. Add widgets. So I'm going to type in WEA. That's close enough. Single click, close. Now you have a question mark in the corner and the icon is right next to the application launcher or the MX menu. Okay, that's the icon I'm referring to. So it's asking for a location. What, what do we want to pick? I'm going to pick uh, San Diego. Which San Diego? San Diego, Texas, San Diego, California, other San Diego's? All right, you get the idea. Just have to click on the right one as one would say. So it's a fairly big icon. So today's date is the 12th. This will be tomorrow and the next day. And if I didn't like the um, Fahrenheit thing, then of course I can just right click on it, configure and change the units over to Celsius, if that's what I wanted to do. All right, so I'm gonna right click and hit enter mode and remove this widget. Okay, so I will close and close the posted box. I'm going to add one of these icons down here, one of these small guys. And at the same time, I'm going to uh, add the weather. I'm going to put the updater icon and a printer icon there at the same time. So in other words, this guy and this guy, I want actually visible at all times. It's done through this um, configure system tray right next to that uh, thumbtack. So go over to entries. Here's your updater. It only shows when it's relevant. In other words, most of the time when you're doing your updates. But your updater also has something when you click on it, which is opens up the Discover Software Center. So I'm going to click that, Always Shown, and hit Apply. So basically, when I click on it, you, you can point at it, and it says System Up to Date, and then open this up, and it, you go to the Discover Software Center, look for whatever software you're looking for, and then install that. So it's a nice convenient thing to have, maybe. Or maybe you want it hidden. But I have plenty of room over here after I double stack these. So then I'm gonna keep scrolling down to the next section where it's hardware control. Maybe I wanna see my printers at all times instead of just when it's relevant. But that's again, that's an option. So I will just do that, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna keep scrolling on down to the bottom. Weather report is disabled. So I'm going to turn this on to always show and hit apply and close. So the printer icon is down here. The queue is empty. My printer is currently paused because it's online and it's a wireless printer, but I can see it nonetheless. And um, wireless printers are great. You can print from not only 
like MX, for instance, or Linux systems, but you can also print from Microsoft, Macs, and uh, also iOS devices, or even Android. At least I don't have an Android phone, but I do have an iPhone, and I can print to that printer from there. All right, so we have a question mark down here. It may be hard for you to see, but maybe I'll try the zoom in thing again and get it all nice and blurry. So you can see the question mark down there. Okay, I'm kind of scrolling around it. And I'll hit that uh, start key and minus again. So that I zoom back out. So I'm going to click on this puppy and we're going to set the location. Do we want to use the same? Why not? San Diego it is. I don't live there. I just picked it out of a hat. All right, apply, close. All right, now I have a small icon. Still got the same thing as I had earlier. I got the 13th, 14th, because today's the 12th. And again, if I don't like the Fahrenheit, I click that symbol there and change the units to, say, Celsius. Okay, so it's a tiny icon. I'll talk about maybe some widgets on your desktop in a minute. All right, let's talk about this guy here. Do you don't like the way this thing displayed? Right click, show alternatives. Maybe you want the smaller one, like this one. Or maybe you want to have maybe this one. You know, everybody's got a different thing. Application dashboard looks like that. Here's your shutdown keys and stuff. So um, I'm going to put this back to default, application launcher. So again, it all depends on what you want to do. And don't forget, you also have KRunner running in the background. If you're looking for calculator, I'll just type in C-A-L and hit enter. And then um, some more tips for you if you haven't seen any of my videos. Um, the reason I sometimes use this yellow pointer is to point to that bar there. That's the top of the window or box. I usually want to be right below it to do this with. Double click. Double click. Doesn't matter. Any, any blank space as long as I'm away from the top. Okay. I can also click and hold and pull it up. And click and hold and pull it back down. What's another option of closing? Alt and F4. Okay, widgets on your desktop, right click, we'll use the same thing, weather. And this time I'm gonna click and drag it out. So we're gonna configure that and uh, the way I wanna use a uh, different city for this, let's try like Los Angeles International Airport or something like that and hit okay. Right click, edit mode. Let's see how big this thing goes. Now, icons are still kind of small in here, but we also have some configuration options. Okay. But again, you know, do you want this huge thing on your desktop? I personally don't like a whole bunch of stuff on my desktop, but maybe this is uh, appropriate for some folks. Or maybe this one is more appropriate for some folks. All depends on what you like on your desktop. It's your machine. All right, folks, thank you for watching.